Good afternoon, volleyball fans. We are coming to you live from the PCV Social, Civic, and Cultural Center in Bacara, Ilocos Norte, as we bring you One Sports is Live and exclusive coverage of the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference, the very first pro volleyball league here in the country. We got some pretty exciting matchups lined for everyone today. First up, we got the Cream Line Cool Smashers going up against the Petrogas Angels. There you have it, our favorite players on your screens. And later on at 6 p.m., the Black Mamba Army Lady Troopers are taking on the Balipure Water Defenders. You can catch the action right here on One Sports and One Sports Plus. Hello everyone, my name is Vidi Capistrano and joining me today again, again. we have Miss Noreen. Go Hello Noreen, nice Hi, to see Billy. you again. Yeah, excited to work with you once again. Definitely, it's going to be a great day for some volleyball action. Now Noreen, first things first, what a match this is going to be. Everybody's been waiting for this game for the longest time because it's safe to say that these two teams are known as the PVL rivals and that rivalry bloomed in the 2019 season where they met each other in both the Reinforced Conference and the Open, Open Conference Final. So, you know what, let's backtrack a little bit. Let's take a trip down memory lane, if you will, and let's remind our viewers of what happened in those games. Yeah, for the fans already of uh, the PVL, this is a refresher course lang of what happened before and why the rivalry is there. For the new viewers and the new fans, FYI, for your information, there's a history between these two teams. As you can see, they met 2019 Reinforced Conference Finals and Petrogas won in three games. But in the Open Conference Finals, Creamline won. So, you know, they split the final. So that's why there's a rivalry when you talk about Creamline versus Petrogas. There's so much excitement between these two teams. But then we know off season there were different build-ups already so things may have been differently today now let's delve into these two teams even further starting with the cream line cool smashers who are coming into the smash marine get this a 21 game winning wow. streak wow. after defeating the santa lucia lady realtors in four sets yeah i mean cream line played really well we know that they're so familiar with each other and when you watch that game really so much firepower you can depend on anyone Eliza Valdez, Gemma Galanza, and what not, and who have you. But then somebody really played well. That's, we can say, Gia Marado set so well, really par excellence setting. And Michelle Gumabao really just stood, you know, stood, stood her ground. She played so well in all aspects of the game. Definitely, Michelle Gumabao, the player of that game, she had 24 points of 21 attacks, two aces, one block and 15 digs. You know, she was the 14th best scorer in the 2019 Open Conference. And if that first game was any indication of how much she improved, then she will definitely be a force to be reckoned with in this tournament. MVP caliber, really. Because if you can play offense and defense at the same time, you know, she's really someone to watch out, to look out for in this conference. All right, so... There you have it, Michelle Gomabao. Again, the queen with the new tricks. Take a look at your screens, our volleyball fans. She did have 24 points, as we mentioned a while yeah. ago. 21 attacks, two aces, one block. And this is the outstanding part, 15 days. So true. I mean, we know the caliber of uh, Michelle Gomabao, who's a good blocker, good attacker. But now she's showing us a different aspect. 15 digs. I mean, you would see those numbers from, libero from liberos or, you know, defensive specialists. But... She's showing it in all aspects, like I said earlier. So someone to really look out for. And I really think it's the space buns. <laughs> it, it's it the is, space it is. buns. Yeah. <laughs> now let's move on to the other team. Let's go on to the side of the Petrogas Angels, who clinched their first win of the tournament at the expense of the Army Lady Troopers. Yeah, Petrogas actually, we always say we have to manage our expectations because they're a new team. But when you look at them in paper, you know that they're a team also to be reckoned with. You have Ria Meneses, Rem Palma, you know, Myla Pablo. So they're going to be a strong team. As to their journey here in this conference, it's really exciting because we know they will just get better. As you can see in that game, they, they won. Although they had some roadblocks and bumps during that, uh, that game, they lost the set. But still, they were able to play well and not show that they're a new team and come out victorious. 
And you know, Noreen, a lot of people were curious to see the new look Petrogas Angels. Yeah. I know I was curious I to was see curious what, too. Yeah, what they could bring to the table and how they were going to gel together. There were questions about their chemistry, but that game showed us that there is a real connection within that team because they played fluidly. And one angel that really stood out, a new angel a that new angel. stood out, was none other than their middle blocker, Ria Meneses, who debuted in her new home team with 16 points of six attacks, nine blocks, and one ace. And, you know, Ria Meneses really showed us that she's back. She's fit. You can see she's lost a lot of weight. And you said it in that game. We covered that. She's more toned, and it's very exciting to watch. But when you look at the numbers, 16 points on six attacks, what's really big there, nine blocks. I mean, she's doing it really in terms of defense, trying to lead her team in defensively because she knows her other teammates can score the points in terms of attack. So why not do it in blocking to make Petrogas an overall team? An all-around all team. Around. So there you have it, Ria Meneses. And also a new angel. A new angel was with Ayi Tansai a while ago. It was Gretchen Sotone. So let's listen in on that interview and what she had to say. Good day, PVL fans. Coming to you live from Ilocos Norte. My name is Ait Sinsai. And here with me today is Gretz Soltones of the Petrogas Angels. How are you doing in the bubble, Gretz? Okay naman ako. Eh, Nag-enjoy sa bagong teammate. Ayan. Ang ganda naman. And I wanted to ask about your new environment on your new team. Madami kayong dinagdag na players over the off-season. And although nakalaro mo na ibang players sa other clubs, how was it trying to come together as a team considering the effects of the entire pandemic? Konti lang naman yung ina-adjust namin sa bawat isa since magkakakilala naman talaga kami sa labas ng court. So yun, parating sinasabi ni Coach Arnold sa amin, yung mga coaches namin na dapat mas lalalim pa yung connections namin sa bawat isa and yung communication namin as a team. And meron din ako isa pang tanong. You had scored 18 magnificent points sa first game mo. How important was it for you to have a great performance in your first game as a Petrogas Angel? Actually, hindi ko naman talaga iniisip yung score ko like as an individual player kasi hindi naman, hindi naman yan one-man game eh. It's a team thing so kailangan um, in every game ang mindset ko talaga sa play for me lang is ma kung paano makatulong sa team malaki man or maliit yung point mo as long as nanalo kayo yes thank you Gretch there you have it Gretch Soltones of the Petrogas Angels well you just well you just love this kid I mean I, when I say kid because we I've, I've actually I'm sure you have two Billy no? we've seen her grow and mature right. into the player she is but we were there when she started out and she's already becoming a leader the way she speaks no? she knows the roles of the player she knows that you know since they're, they're a new team there are no expectations but the expectation really is for them to perform and the end goal is to win but do your part. He, right. She said that, no? Do your part. And with so many superstars in her team, you really have to humble yourself one way or another That's and true. know your role. That is true. So what, can, what do you think can we expect from the rest of the Petrogas Angels here in this game against the Cream Line Team Smashers? Because, Nareen, it's good to know that they're a completely different team. Right. So it's going to be a very different experience for both our squads. Well, for me, I think because they're a new team, no? People like Meneses, Pablo, and... Uh, Palma, they want to prove their worth. They want to say that well, we're gonna do, we're gonna create a new rivalry. We're a new team, but we're gonna still be here and challenge Creamline and who, uh, what other teams? Because since it's the start lang of the tournament and everybody wants to create their own rivalry, you know they're gonna give their all, and that's what you can expect from Petrogas. Definitely, and we all know that Pe Petrogas Angels, rather that even though they are a new team, they're filled, as I said a while ago, with superstars headed by, of course, Coach. Arnold Lanyog, and we can't wait to start this game. What do you think is going to happen, you know, as a game progresses? Well, a tale of two teams <laughs> who won their opening day game, so they're both victorious, but they will part today. Someone's got to win, someone's got to lose. It happens. It, it happens. happens. It will happen, but it's still the start of the, you know, the third day of this tournament. It's so it's interesting. All we can say, Billy, is really it's more excitement for, for the fans and for us to see the journey of each team and how they will progress as the games go on. And of course, you can see Coach Sherwin Meneses still here, still manning the Creamline Cool Smashers. Coach Ty Bundit, 
I believe, is still undergoing yeah. quarantine. Yeah, that's true. And you can see on your screens, here we go. We are about to start at this game. With that, it is finally to wit finally time to witness the rivals once again. It's the Creamline Cool Smashers versus the Petrogas Angels right here in the PVL Open Conference on One Sports. Let's turn it over to our stadium Barker for the announcements of the starters. And now let's meet the starters first for the Petrogas Angels. Outside Spiker from San Sebastian College, Recoletos. Number five, Gretzel Soltones. Opposite hitter from San Vera University, number seven, Ses Molina. Middle blocker from the Far Eastern University, number nine, Rem Palma. Center from Dallas South University, number 17, team captain, Chi Saez. Middle blocker from the University of Santo Tomas, number 18, Ria Meneses. Outside Spiker from the National University, number 19, Myla Pablo. Starting Libero from the University of the East, number 8, Kat Arado. And the head coach for Petrogas is Arnold Lanyong. And now the starters for the Green Line Cool Smashers. Outside Spiker from the Ateneo de Manila University, number two, team captain, Alexa Valdez. Middle blocker from the National University, number five, Risa Sato. Middle blocker from the College of St. Benil, number six, Jeanette Panaga. Opposite hitter from Dallas South University, number seven, Michelle Gumamo. Center from the Ateneo de Manila University, number 12, Gia Morado. Back here in the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference, right here on One Sports. This is the game between the Cream Line Cool Smashers and the Petrogas Angels. On your screens, we can see the starters for the Petrogas Angels, the usual suspects. You got Mayla Pablo, Grecia Soltones, Dia Meneses, Remy Palma, Chi Saet, Ces Molina, and their Libero Kath Arado. Also started the game last Sunday for those who didn't watch that game. And here we have the starters for the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Right, again, you said familiar faces, Eliza Valdez, Michelle Gumabo, Morado, Sato, Panaga, Galanza, and Atienza manning the back. So you're right, they're familiar names. They started out their first games, and why not? They both came up victorious. It's going to be an exciting matchup once again, a game that has been much awaited yeah. by a lot of our hardcore PVL fans, mga Angels and Cool Smashers fans. And likewise, we can't wait to see what these teams have in store for us today. And we have to mention Billy, Jeanette Panaga. Yes, it's former, the yeah. former angel. <laughs> She's facing her former team, and it's, that's going to be an interesting matchup, no? I, either Meneses or Palma against Panaga. Can be a rivalry brewing here as <laughs> yeah. well in our open conference. But again, as we mentioned in our coverage last Sunday, only three. Original Angels remain from the 2019 roster. Rika Enclona, Jesse De Leon, and there you have it, uh, Chi Saet, their veteran setter. Well, we have to say, you know, I mean, this conference, a lot of re revamped and a lot of other teams. So it's nice to know the history of these teams, but we have to take into consideration these are different teams. These are going to be new exactly. rivalries. And here we are. Myla Pablo will try, and that is going to be an early point here for the Petrogas Angels. Yeah, Myla Pablo, we talked about it in their win, no? Last time. She was, you know, consistent, but we need more explosiveness from this girl because she needs to lead this Petrogas if they want to beat Creamline. And we all know what Myla Pablo can do. And with that, another point goes to the Angels. You can see their teammates just enjoying this game. And I think that's the most important thing. You know, they, they want to do this for the fans as well. Everybody wants to have fun. Yeah, and they want to start out, start out strong, talking about Petrogas, because you don't want to play intimidated just because exactly. the line is solid in terms of lineup. So you want to challenge them early on and show them that at least Creamline that we're here to compete against the best. And to add, to add to that, Noreen, and just because, you know, they have a 21-game winning streak. It, and it can seem daunting if you're the opponent of, of a team with a streak like that. That's true. That's true. 
She saw it. Will go to Ria Meneses. Oh, good oh, ball still alive. Kath Arado. Great defense being shown by Creamline. Michelle Gomabao starting early here in this game. Picking up from where she left off in that previous game, scoring against a single block of Ria Meneses. You know, we gotta hand it to Michelle. She she looks good, she looks happy, she looks excited to play and focus here in the open conference. Yeah, we know, you know, we, when you look at your social media platforms, you, you can see that Dreamline, it's a family already. Right. I mean, they've been together for so long. Yeah, and some additions to the team, but you always see that they're always like enjoying each other's company. So every time they play, when they're on court, you can feel that, you know, it's like, it's rubbing off from all their get-togethers and their practices. In Tagalog, barkadahan. Yep. Isang barkada <laughs> talaga itong Creamline who smashers. Again, two straight points for Michelle Gomabao. Proving to us that first game was no fluke. Yeah. She's going to continue it. You know, that, that what's nice about Creamline also, because they have such a powerhouse lineup, anyone can contribute and perform. They're always ready. I mean, exactly. When Gia sets to them, they're just ready to hit. Many options for their prize setter, Gia Morado. And that's what we mean by family. <laughs> with, with the placards cheering their teammates on. And that is a service ace from Eliza Valdez, who is also the three-time UAAP best server. And that's not easy. That's uh, Kat Arado is the libero <laughs> of Petrogas. You're able to have it score an ace. And there we have Ces Molina with a drop. Yeah, Ces Molina's gonna also have to be big here. I mean, Ces Molina, I don't think, was under the radar of Green Line because she's a new addition also, part of the Petrogas, no? But, but we have to remind people, she is part of the national team. She's very simple, but she's very effective. She uh, does the job well. Yeah. yeah. When needed, she shows up, and that's the kind of teammate you want. That's the kind of player you want in your team. Efficient, simple. Doesn't do anything fancy. Yeah, not very flashy yes. as well, no? But also brings energy on the court. Ria Meneses will serve. Good serve. Early lead here for Petragas. But here comes the cream line who smashers care of Gemma Galanza. Oh, soaring for that. A former PVL MVP in her own right. Yes, that's true. But you know, throughout the years, Bielina, we've what we followed a lot of the players' career during their collegiate stints, and then the club level, and then this now we're in the professional level. We can see a lot of the players, even if they're not as successful in their co collegiate stint, they become better, right. which is good to see because you can improve even in the in, when when you're older. I mean, <laughs> and you can bloom where you're planted. Yeah, obviously. You can see that in a lot of our players here on the court. And Remy Palma, also one player. Petrogas is showing us as well that they're a powerhouse squad. Even Chisa, it can go to anyone as well. So it's really, that's why it's a six all. Because they're so far evenly matched. And again, Gemma Galanza in peak form. Here she comes. Yeah, that's just a great set by Gia Morado. No blockers were able to anticipate that Galanza had the entire court at her disposal. Seven serving six now. Cream line with a lead. Another good serve. She saw it. Who will she go to? And <laughs> that's Rem Palma. Boys. She seems fired up she here is. in this game. Yeah, and so far, no successful blocks yet. You can see both setters really just mixing it up, making the blockers guess who the setters are going to. So, a lot of successful kills so far. Gia Morado, smart play. Palma was there. This time, she will go to Gemma Galanza. Is denied, saved by Atienza. Gumabao gives him a free ball. She saw it to Myla Pablo is blocked <laughs> by Pang Spanaga. That was for me. What, what, what? <laughs> no blocks here? I'll give you one. As we go to our first technical timeout of set number one, the PVL Open Conference will be right back.
We are back and you're still watching the PVL Open Conference, the very first pro volleyball league here in the country. Live right now in One Sports, Billy Capistrano with Noreen Go. We got the Creamline Cool Smashers holding on to just a one point lead here in set number one. And here you have it, the blocking of the Creamline Cool Smashers, care of their former angel, Pang Spanaga. That's two successful blocks right after I mentioned yes. that there wasn't too Noreen, many. <laughs> she heard you. There wasn't and she any was block. not happy about it. Obviously, that's why she was uh, the player of the game in, in that uh, previous game because of nine blocks and she's well on her way to that two already thanks Panaga we all know what she's capable of former best blocker in the NCAA oh sorry I was talking about Ria Meneses oh. but, but yeah thanks Panaga also a good blocker both, both good blockers <laughs> of course Take a look at that play again. Gia Morado, that chemistry with Eliza Valdez as she soars and puts it away. Too much for Kath Arado. Yeah, Eliza has been, like I was reading some of the messages on social media, she was saying that I'm just happy to be a role player. Right. You know, but when they go to her, you know that she can score. She still does it. Yep. And the Petrogas Angels did call a timeout. Medyo lumalaki na ang lead na tong Creamline Crew Smashers here in our set number one. And you know who I want to see in this game yeah. show up? Gretchen Sotona. That's true. That's true. Although she scored, I think, 18 yeah, she points. Did, but we were talking about it a while ago. She she did score a lot. Good for her, but kind of quiet. Yeah. You know, not like the usual Gretchen that we, we would see explosive on the court. So imagine if she were explosive, 20, 20 points. 25 points, but that is possible for a player like Rachel Sotonis. Right now, both teams with five attack points. And that will be a service error for Gemma Galanza. Yep, too strong. But, and that's what you don't want to see in a very close contested or tightly contested match. You don't want to see a lot of those service errors. Eight serving ten. Remy Palma on the line. Gia Morado to Pangs. Balik sa cream line. Back to Eliza. To dig. And that is an illegal attack, if I heard it correctly. Yeah, I think that was a good call because she was stepping on the line. There you go. She stepped on the line. So, illegal back row attack. Sharp eyes by their second referee. It's easy to miss calls like that. Yeah, but that's actually that's pretty obvious though. But it's it's good sometimes if it's if it's too close right. to call, you're not sure. That's where it gets hard. Now back to this game again. Creamline leading 11 to eight. Make that just a two point lead for the Cool Smashers. Well, now we're seeing the defensive side of this match. I like, it's a good thing I said it. No? So both teams actually now stepping up in terms of defense. But what about Chisayet with that block against Eliza Valdez? The veteran setter of the Petrogas Angels. Let's talk about total block points. One for Petrogas, two for Cream Line. Hoping for more for, for Petrogas after Ria Meneses in that outstanding game last Sunday. That's Eliza true. Valdez! On cue, Billy. On there you cue. have it. We should say it. We should, you know, we should say it more. I know. Often. I know. I know. <laughs> she said, "Did you just mistake me for Pang Pang Spanaga <laughs> earlier with your comment?" She was trying to get back at you. I know. I know. Right on cue, Ria Meneses. Great blocking there. Chance ball. They go to Cesc Molina. Oh, good save. Again, free ball, but that will be a point for the Petrogas Angels. A violation called on Eliza Valdez. Yeah, that's pretty much an uncharacteristic error by Eliza. You don't see that often. But she is human. And Coach Sherwin Meneses will try to pacify things, call a timeout for his team. We are tied at 11 all. Well, let's try to catch what Coach Sherwin is saying, but 
obviously now it's tied, so they want to stop this surge. They want to pull away, yeah. They yeah. want to pull away from the Petrogas Angels who are starting to get, you know, their groove, the momentum here in our set number one. By the way, thank you for everybody who, who's watching us right yeah. now. We know it's a holiday. If you're spending time with your family, enjoying this game, uh, we're going to make sure that it's going to be a good one. And it's actually a rainy holiday here in the studio. A gloomy and rainy holiday. We're going to brighten things up for right. everyone. Don't you guys yes. worry. Agree, agree. Again, both teams tied 11 all. Chisaet will serve for the Angels. Good serve. Eliza will try, and there you have it. Rhea Meneses, silent in the very first few minutes of our set, but alive and kicking right now. Boy, I think it was, that's a great rotation for Petrogas. You're putting Molina and Meneses on Eliza Valdez. That's a great rotation. And it's definitely working for them. Bawi naman ang Creamline Cool Smashers. We have you on your screen, Sky Negrito, sporting the mullet. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Gemma Galanza go from the back. Yeah, that's a great set by Gia Morado, knowing that Eliza is getting blocked her number. And I go to the back, try to find another solution. Go to the back, go to Gemma Galanza. Let's take a look at the digs. Seven for Petrogas, 11 for Dreamline. And another point goes to Eliza Valdez. You know she'll get her points. She'll get blocked, yes, because of great defense, but she'll get her points like that. Great effort, though, by, yeah. by the Petrogas Angels. Kath Arado, most especially. Yeah, good save, but sayang. The dig. We got the Cream Line Crew Smashers looking at the referee. Let's clarify. Let's take a look at it again for those who weren't able to see it as well. And so, what happened here, Noreen? Yeah, well, they call an overreach for Ria Meneses because that is settable. I mean, mm -hmm. for a lot of uh, other setters, maybe it would be hard, but Gia Morada's a great setter, even the ones close to the net. She can make do with something like that, and Ria Meneses just overreached it. Just like that, Risa Sato. Is that Risa? Let's take a look at that. Says, yes, Risa Sato. Now you like watching the game right now because blocking also coming into play. And exci it's exciting. We're <laughs> you teams. see that? Yes, definitely agree with you on that one. She saw it. Drop ball is good. <laughs> such, that's such a smart tip by Cesc Molina. Just and you could see the cream line cool smashes. They were ready. They were ready. For but it was just perfectly placed, as you can see. <laughs> right? It's so close. It's like in the center of three players. Gia Morado, Sato, and uh, Valdez. It's just right there. Perfect placing. Creamline holding on to that lead, though. Two points make that three-point lead for the Cool Smashers. As we go to our second technical timeout of set number one, the PBL Open Conference will be right back.
Back here in the PVL Open Conference, Billy Capistrano with Noreen Go. We got the Petrogas Angels taking on the Creamline Cool Smashers, reigning Open Conference champions. As we continue on with this game, here comes Michelle Gomabao. Ball still alive. Play continues. Yeah, good save on both both ends of the court. And another good save right <laughs> good there. Save. Saet. Another good save. Well, we got a mini rally going on over here. Ball is still alive. They will send it over. Great dig by Eliza. And that hits the antenna. And a point will go to the Angels. But that's, that's, we said it earlier. I mean, this is going to be a great game and we're looking at it. That rally just proves it. Both on offense and in defense, it's just sad that uh, it had to end with an error. But we have to commend both teams with all those yes, saves. Yes, we're definitely trying. The defense on both squads looking real good. Now we have Mean Mendres, a service specialist. Will come in from the University of the East. One of the new angels to join the Petrogas team. Wow. <laughs> Gemma Galanza, really. Noreen. I mean, it's a great <laughs> set. You know, combination play, that's how you want it. You're sensing or you're respecting the blocking prowess of Petrogas. You got to change it up. Go to combination plays. Risa Sato, 17 serving, 14. And Rem Palma doing the simple things. Good to go. So you can see early on here in this first set, we're, we're heading to, towards the middle part. They're both both teams are actually thinking. They're looking at you know where can they put the ball. It's not just I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna. Hindi ng lakasa ng palo. Oh, you 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 can see both teams thinking, and that's that goes to show the level or the quality of this match. So of course, this is you know where the pros are, yes. the best of the best that Philippine volleyball has to offer. You got it right here in the PVL and it, it's showing right now here in our game it has everything a serves blocks kills all around plays yeah all around athletes we have Petrogas now with seven excellent sets Creamline with six and Creamline continues to pull away here in our first set yeah stuff block there oh that was uh, I think that, that, that was Michelle Gumabo yeah I remember when she was still playing in La Salle. She, she was, was known for her yes, blocking. She was, she, I think she was a uh, former best middle blocker of yes. one season, if I'm not mistaken. Best blocker. Yes. At that time, she, I think she was playing opposite hitter. But, but best blocker. Yeah, same but point. Best <laughs> but Michelle has always you know, been a, a true leader. Yeah. Very outspoken on the court. She energizes the team with her near presence, yeah, which that's is true. just that's a big true. personality, hardworking person. I'm glad to see her, you know, improving here in this tournament. She has actually raised her level of play. Definitely. But the Petrogas Angels, on the other hand, trying to play catch up here with the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Gretchel Sultan, if you want to see more of that from her, yeah. More explosive. Yes. Yung Gretchen na nag-iingay kapag nasa court. And that's why she's known as, as the Lady Beast. The Lady Beast. Now we're talking about the monikers. We gotta remember the <laughs> monikers. You have to remember <laughs> the monikers. And a wonderful <laughs> attack there by Pang Spanaga. One that she does so well. Yeah, that's what she adds also when she joined the scream line. All her Look at that. options in terms of attacks, you're right. And she seems fired up in our match today. 20 serving 17. Second service error. And that's very surprising for Gemma Galanza. So that's uh, adrenaline already, that rush for you. The excitement, too of, much power in that serve. Of just being here. <laughs> Ria Meneses comes back in. And stares at her. This could be a rivalry. Her counterpart. Yeah, a matchup. Vanessa's Panaga. <laughs> Vanessa's versus Panaga. We have eight attack points for Petrogas, ten for Creamline. 
And that's a service ace for Remy Palma. Just one point away. Yeah, they're just keeping in step with Cream Line. That's what you want to see. You know, it's a new team, but they're showing that they look like they've been playing together for quite some time. They absolutely gel together well, and you can see it in how they move with each other inside the court. That's true. Taking one point at a time. Eliza will try again, and she is blocked by the Petrogas Angels. I think it's Syed again. Yeah, it's she Syed again. So you know what she's been doing in the offseason? Been practicing those blocks, getting cues <laughs> from Bria Meneses. Exactly. When, when Meneses joined the team, come Chi. And look at her teammates. Look at her teammates cheering her on after yeah. that block. That was two blocks. Eliza again blocked. They chase that ball. It's still alive, and they will give a chance ball here to the Angels. Oh, what a great combination a, play there. I was just going to say. <laughs> and take a look at that score, Noreen. Petrogas now with that one-point lead, and that's why Coach Sharon Meneses will call a timeout for his team. So the tables have turned. What happened in that sequence? I think Petrogas was just playing very patient. You know, really... They weren't in a rush yeah. at all. Even with Creamline having a, like a three-point lead, they, they just stayed focused in this game. You know, f served well, a couple of ace service, but it doesn't help also a couple of service errors by Creamline. But, you know, they, they went to their combination play, their blocking is on point. You know, and now they have the lead. But for Creamline, what do they have to do? Eliza's getting checked right now but their coverage has to be there their, the defense floor defense has to work in order to give eliza that confidence right. to keep slugging it out to keep hitting and eventually you know eliza will get her point let's take a look at that combination play once again better gas angels making magic on their side and they were not rattled at all when when cream line had that lead all right Let's take a look at the unforced errors. Five for each team. 21 serving 20. Panaga again. She was blocked by Myla Pablo. Al and Eliza Valdez again checked. Same spot. Read her like a book. 22, 20. That, that is true. That we have to give it to Petrogas. Now that was uh, actually Meneses said more hand on that, but not to give it to Petrogas. They just that was her focused. third third try. Third try. Third? Yes. More. I think more. <laughs> third. Na, it seemed more. <laughs> yeah. Third. It feels third or like more. it's more. But at any rate, she she has been checked. You were right. And at this point, Creamline relying on the unforced errors here of the Petrogas Angels. Service okay. error by Remy Palma. There we have Ella de Jesus, former Perla Spiker, joining in the fun. <laughs> joining in the fun. <laughs> and she will replace Pangs Panaga. Adjustments being made by Coach Sherwin Meneses. Actually, it's more of the serve. Oh, right. Service specialist, Ella de Jesus. Oh. Right. Also for the Perla Spikers, I remember her being a service specialist. Myla Pablo. Oh. Oh, that was close. And that sails outside. Yeah. Everybody's like holding their breath. Is it out? Is it? Did it hit the line? That was close. Very, very, no, very. From this not. angle. <laughs> but from this angle, you would you would see the parang pasok ng corner. Yeah. Konta. But the slow mo is like, oh, it's not close. <laughs> Again, Ella de Jesus serving 22. All is our score. Oh. And that that goes in. <laughs> and the angels cannot believe it. Okay, somebody's gonna uh, got to ask Chi side. Was that intentional? Yeah. <laughs> Did she plan that? Pero parang nung halos niya ako yun. <laughs> that was planned. Chi will serve 23, 22. This is just our first set. Risa Sato, and, and she loves she loves doing those attacks. We've seen it time and time again from her. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, just enough push to get it through. And Meneses, I'm sure Meneses wanted. Can I have that back? <laughs> Another play? 
I'm gonna get that block, but no, but Sato gets the point. And again, just our set number one, 23 all. Proving to be a fun game, mm -hmm. a very exciting one. And Rhea Meneses continues to feel at home in her new team. Yeah, playing it smart, just tipping it over. Set points. Yeah, you can see, just looking for that, that hole. The volleyball, the volleyball sense is on point for our Petrogas Angels. You did mention that a while ago. Yeah. Set point for the Angels, 24, serving 23. Oh. And unfortunately, Maya Pablo. She wants that back, for sure. That's a costly, costly error for, for our veteran. Real costly. Eliza will try, service nine. Good serve. They have a chance here. Says Molina, bowing bowe, yung service error ni Myla Pablo. Yeah, look at that angle, the angle she went for from a bump set. Look at that. That's how good she is talking about Ses Molina. Another chance, set point for Petrogas. 25 serving, 24. Who are they gonna go to? Michelle Gomabao, no go. Chance here. Oh and that is inside. At the very tip, it goes in. Yeah, Petrogas, a different team, but showing us how strong they can be getting the first set. Take a look at that, Noreen, just at the very end. And there you have it, the Petrogas Angels, they clinch set number one from the Creamline Cool Smashers. How do you feel about that set, Noreen? Well, it's, it was a great set. It was so very entertaining, but somebody had to prevail, and Petrogas just maintained composure. And there you have it, 26-24. We will be right back here on the PVL Open Conference on One Sports. We are back and you are still watching the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference right here on One Sports Pity Capistrano with Noreen Go. And the Petrogas Angels, as we said a while back, they clinched that set number one. Noreen, what did they do right and what did the cool smashers, you know, what did they have to improve on coming into the second set? Well, let's talk first about Petrogas. They maintained composure really towards the end of that set. It was close and then Team 9 would be in control, leading for about two, three points, two, three points. But unfazed by it, talking about Petrogas. We, we know that these players are veterans as well. Pablo Meneses, Pama, everyone there. Chisai, they maintain composure. And I, I would say that, you know, we witnessed that they stayed focused. They weren't rattled. They were playing as a team. Good defense led to good offense. You know, a little bit, a little service errors towards the end. But they made up for that, more than made up for that. And they were able to, to win that percent. Right, and they totally deserve that set, but take a look at the statistics that we have on your screens. Well, we know how close that set is, 26-24, and look at the numbers, 13-11, to 5-4, to 3-1. Even as the unforced errors went, you know, Petrogas had more unforced errors. 
at the end, I think it, what mattered is the end. The, the end game of that first set. The end set, so to speak. Is they just held on and you know that they wanted it more. And it clearly showed with how they played against one another. Here we have it. Set number two. Exciting to see how Creamline is, is going to play here in the set, having lost that first yeah. one. How will they respond? Exactly. Because and I how are they going to adjust yeah, as well? I feel Creamline, like the first set, yeah, they, they were, it was close, 26 24, but you feel that there's something lacking in terms of spirit. I right. mean, we've witnessed that, what, 21 game wins? Yes. We've seen them play, but today so far there's something lacking. I think they need to step on the gas and step it up a bit here. Agree. Don't know if it's that energy or it doesn't, something seems a little off yeah. during that first set. But knowing them, you know, they're full of surprises. Definitely will catch up here with the Petrogas Angels as we go back to this game. They go to Ces Molina is blocked. So Tones off the block. You can see over at the Petrogas side, they're playing very relaxed, which is obviously advantageous for this team. They're relaxed, they're talking, they're laughing, and they're playing well. And you can see it also in, in their body language. Yeah. Like, like what we uh, just saw over there, Gretchen Sultan is celebrating that point. And Creamline finally gets her first point via that service error by Mayla Pablo. I think this is her third, yeah, third, in, third, yeah. third in this game. Chance here for Creamline. Michelle Gomabao. Off the hands of Chisa. And yeah, that's what, what, what they want from Michelle Gumabao. More of that, more of what she did in the first game that they won, where she dominated, and they need that from her. They need someone to actually step up. Service error for Eliza. We have the Lady Beast, Gretchen Soltones on your screens. And I know that a lot of people were excited to see the duo of Myla Pablo and Gretchen Soltones playing for the Petrogas Angels. And Gemma Galanza. Well, I'm looking at some numbers here in the first set. Top score was Cesc Molina. Yeah, we talked about... Silently. The you silent know? operator. And she top scored for both teams. So, I mean... She's playing great for Petrogas. Trying to figure out the call or who to give the point to. Point will go to the Petrogas Angels. Yeah, they, well, based on what we can hear, first referee overruled the line judge, and, that, and he always has a, that power. Yes. But again, back to Assess Molina. That's what we were saying, you know, very quiet. She does her job. Mm -hmm and comes out on top, right. efficient. <laughs> she is a mainstay in the national team. Right. It just goes to show she's one of the best in the it country. It goes to show you don't need to do anything fancy to be efficient. That's true, that's true. But also Risa Sato scores another point for the Creamline Cool Smashers. 4-3 is our score. We are live here in Bacara, Ilocos Norte. And that... Talking about her Ces Molina again. Yeah, just a smart tip there. You know, when we said that Petrogas is playing patient, that's the way they're doing it. They're not rushing things. They're just changing it up, changing, hitting, dropping. They're making Creamline constantly guess. Yes, exactly. And it seems to be working for them so far. They go to Michelle, denied. One more time for her. Again, still denied. Good save, though. Yeah. Gemma goes, ako na to. Yeah, just give I it got to me. You. Give it to me. My chance. Right in the team. You can see the blockers were late. So Gemma Galanza just finds that seam in the blockers' hands. Four serving five. Good save by Chisaet. 
free ball. They go to Panaga and fangs Panaga again. Second time this game. Yeah, that's them from, you know, good pass. And obviously, Gia Morado can weave her magic. But that's what they need more here in the second set. A lot of first ball struggles there in the first set. This second set, you have to address that. And that will be a net touch violation called on Fangs. Again, with those unforced errors. Let's take a look at that. Hand grace the net. <laughs> Actually, the, the ball went wide. So, lucky break for Petrogas because of net violation. Speaking of the errors, here's one from... Gretchen Soltones and the service errors are piling up in this game, Nareen. That's true, and that's what you don't want to see, especially when when we determine the outcome of this match, and then you look at the errors, and then you see a lot of its service errors. You're gonna like scratch your head, especially the coach. And that's something you definitely don't want to see. As this point goes to the cream line cool smashers. Yeah, there's a sloppy play there by Petrogas. You don't want to be complacent if you're Petrogas. You're playing well. You don't want to be complacent because if you give Cream Line some life or when you give them the momentum, they're just going to grab it. Play continues. Eliza puts it up. Gia to Pangs. Blocked. Back to Eliza. They go to Myla. Yeah, they did not clear. We're going to go to our first technical timeout here in set number two. Score right now is eight to six. Cream line with the lead. We will be right back. We are back and you are still watching the very first Pro Volleyball League here in the country. This is the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference live on One Sports. We got the Petrogas Angels taking on the Cream Line Cool Smashers with the Cream Line Cool Smashers in the lead 8-6. to six. Oh, Good save by Eliza. We got Gemma from the back. Yep. Point will go to the Angels. She buries that into the net. Now so for those who just joined us, Petrogas actually winning the yes. first set 26-24. Or was it 27-25? 26-24. Okay, making sure. <laughs> Seven serving eight. Gia will go to Pangs. And that's what we want to see more yeah. of in this game. Not only in this game, in this tournament. And hopefully years to come. Yeah. Ria Meneses versus Pangs Panaga. Ria Meneses, I got your spot, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you were here once. It's my time. And it definitely is her time. Yeah. For, for the Petrogas Angels. Yeah. We're tied at 8 all. Oh. Service ace from Rem, Rem Palma. And thanks, you know, thanks for that block. The Angels looking alive That's true. and energized. That was that was a spark plug move by Ria Meneses. That's why you like stuff blocks. It, it really changes the the mood right. of the team. 
Nine serving eight. Eliza. Nobody there for the Petrogas Angels. Finally, one legitimate. Well, not really just one, but finally a clean kill for Eliza Valdez. Bangs Managa on your screens. Four points of two attacks and two blocks. She saw it to Myla Pablo. And she is checked. Yep, Isa Sato making her presence felt at the net as well. Once again in the conversation, we've been talking about Meneses and Panaga and Palma. I'm here. I'm here too. <laughs> I'm Risa Sato. We all love Risa Sato. Oh, she yeah. also brings such a good energy when she's on the court. You can always see her smiling. I don't think I've ever seen her frown. Outside the court, she yeah. is a she is, she is the most, the bubbliest yeah. person you will ever meet. As we take a look at that sequence again, Ria Meneses continues to shine for the Petrogas Angels here. Morado to Sato. Arado will give it to Molina. You know, great distribution right now, really, by Chisa. And everyone is contributing. She's really getting everyone involved. She saw it also improved here here in the in this tournament. Being a veteran, you know, you, you think that there's nothing else to work on, but constantly you're learning new things from your teammates and also the people that you play against. Yeah. Of course, because like right now we have ten teams in this tournament. Different players, different teams have different lineups already. So, you know, you really have to focus also on self improvement. If you wanna stay in step. That's a mark of a true pro. Yeah. You know? Well, Miss Set there. Miscommunication there. And Creamline now grabs the lead. Coach Arnold scratching his head. <laughs> Not too sure about that one. Not too happy. <laughs> Gio Morada will serve. 12 excellent sets for both our teams. Again, Ria Meneses. Catches the line. We got some substitutions for the Petrogas Angel. Angels, rather. In comes Jeremy Malabanan. And she will serve for her team. Good serve. Good serve. There you go to Michelle Gumabao. Kath Arado. But it reaches the stands. Yeah, Michelle Gumabo, effective in both ends of the court. Gets that kill for green line. 13, a serving 12. Eliza Valdez, 4.3 attacks, 1 ace. That sails right outside, too strong. Very, you know, unlikely again for, for Eliza. Yeah, well, she's human. She will commit errors. It's a matter of... What are you gonna do next? You know, if you're not. What's the next step yeah. after this, right? I mean, you don't have the best of starts, but how are you gonna channel that in this match? Good save, good dig by Chisa. It one had a dig, and that is an off the block attack by Ses Molina. Boy, she's really making a name for herself in this tournament. Exactly. In her new team. Ria Meneses, six points off three attacks and three blocks. Her team leads by one point. Good effort, just not fast enough. 14 all. Yeah, actually, Meneses saw that. It's just like the mind was willing, but the body she was won't. She was <laughs> hesitating this, quite a bit. Like, uh, uh. <laughs> you can only go so far. <laughs> yeah. All six, one of her, I'm talking. I'm saying. Oh, good save. Good Ball save. Ball still alive. Chance here for the Petrogas Angels. They go to Ses Molina. Another good dig. Great defense by the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Gia Morado again, one headed save. Back to Gemma Galanza. And she is blocked. 
Petrogas is really pumped at the net, anticipating the offensive cream line so well. And if you're cream line coverage, you, you know that the blocking or the net defense of Petrogas is on point today. You have to double up on coverage. Talking about blocking, block points right now. Two for Petrogas, one for cream line. And Noreen, the Angels really did their homework yeah. here in today's game. That's true. But Michelle Gumabao not going down without a fight. 15 all. Yeah, another great angle by Mitch Gumabao. Five points for her off four attacks and one block. There you Palma. <laughs> I love the reaction. The stare the down. The stare <laughs> down. The reaction at the end as we go to our second technical timeout of set number two. This is the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference only on One Sports. Back here in the PVL and on your screens, we have Miss Nikki Pelar from the Metro Ilocos Norte Council Office, PGIN, watching the game, enjoying the game as well. And she is the administrative officer that was attorney Nikki Pelar. Thanks for the support. Yes, thanks. definitely thank you for the support. We're all working together to make sure that this tournament is you know, for the fans, that the players also sacrificed so much, yeah. you know, just to be here. Let's go back to this very exciting game we have going on. Remy Palma welcomes us back after that break. Yeah, with a running hit. Again, Chisai just doing wonders. Distributing that yeah, ball. setting. Gemma Galanza stepping up here in the second set. They are down by one point. For those who just tuned in, this is our second set. Petrogas won that first set, and the Creamland Crew Smashers sporting a 21 game winning streak. Well, that is on the line right now. If they don't do something about this Petrogas team, yes. Gia Morado to Pang Spanaga. Chisae to Malabanan. She will try again. She is blocked. Good save. Now what happened there, Noreen? Miscue. <laughs> Miscommunication, obviously. They were looking at each other. But if somebody's back has his, her back to the ball, first option be, should be the person who has the ball in front of her. So it's supposed to be Molina's ball. And, you know, if they talk, if somebody said something, they would have resolved that. And that's why communication on the court is very important. Right now, we are at 17. All Banks powers it through. And they get the lead, finally, 18 yeah. to 17. That's a good sign for Green Line and the fans. Because you don't want Petrogas to go ahead in this match 2-0. That would mean that would spell trouble for the Cream Line Crew Smashers, especially you know looking at the Petrogas Angels and how pumped up they yeah, are and how in, well they're yes, playing in this game. That's true. Chisaet to Palma, <laughs> Remy Palma, making things happen here for the Petrogas Angels. Yeah, we gotta give it to the middle hitters of Petrogas, both Meneses and Palma, actually playing very well today. 
Excellent sets for both teams. Petrogas with 16, Creamline with 13. We are at 18 all. He'll, here comes Pang Spanaga. A run, another running attack for her. Yeah, responding to Remy Palma. To Remy Palma, yeah. Crucial stages of the second set. 19 oh. serving 18, and that's what you're talking about. Those unforced errors, and again the service aces, a uh, service errors rather here in this game, piling up bit by bit per team. Yeah, that's why I said crucial stages because you don't want to see these service errors, especially now. Yeah. Especially now. Oh, smart tip. And Gia Morato does that so well, also. One of the smartest setters that we have in the country today. Yeah, that's true. And Gia Morado is also the four-time PVL best setter, three-time finals MVP in the PVL. Three-time finals MVP. Wow. And she gets that service ace. Good for her and her team. And Petrogas will call a timeout. Yeah, you, you were talking about Gia Morado. What a time for her. To help her team, two straight, two straight points after that service error, two straight points, and now they have the lead, looking to actually winning the second set. They just need to stay focused because you never know what Petrogas has up their sleeves, especially you know judging by how they are playing since that first set. Yeah, you know what's nice about so far this match, no, this match. There are no pushovers. Both squads, they have their great lineups, but they're both just match for each other. So you have to really play well to win it. You want to win it. Gia Morado, two points off one attack and one ace will serve for the Creamline Cool Smashers. This is our second set. Exciting times here in our game. Just a two-point lead by Creamline. Good serve. We go to Myla Pablo, and that is off the block into the sidelines. One point away from tying this game. And if you're a Petrogas fan, how excited are you right now as well? <laughs> That's true. 2021. Oh, good serve. Play continues. Good defense. Gia to Eliza. And this time, she makes sure she gets that point. Well, crucial moments here. And they needed that. Yeah. They, they needed that from Eliza Valdez. That's supposed to pump the team up, you know, your, your captain yes. scoring when needed. Ria Meneses, though. Again, just a slim, very, very slim one point lead for the Creamline Cool Smashers. Yeah, right now, in this latter part of the second set, it's really going to be a battle of nerves because so far you can see no one's really above the other team regardless of score, regardless of who won the first set. So they're pretty evenly matched. So right now it's a matter of who's going to be more composed towards the end of the second set. Who isn't going to get rattled, you know, when... Uh, <laughs> Michelle Gumawa definitely is not getting she rattled. Get rattled. She doesn't. Yeah, she never. <laughs> she never gets rattled. Take a look at that and the celebration afterwards. Threading the needle and catching the line, wow. 23 serving 21. She saw it. We'll go to Cesc Molina. So this, you know, quite obviously is, is a back and forth affair yeah. for both our teams. Uh, Nobody like, wants to give up the set. Wow, look at that down the line. It's like it's like in She's boxing. making a statement. Pound for pound. Right. <laughs> she just made a statement with that attack. 22 to 23. Creamline with the lead. Michelle Gumabao is blocked. She will try one more time. A little bit harder. And this one is good. 
boy, you have to give it to Michelle Gumabo. Actually, for the defense no, of, of Cream Line, wasn't the best of place, but they still get the point. Cream Line now at set point, 24 serving, 22. Gumabao will serve this one. Oh, good dig. A chance ball, Eliza from the back. They will go to Grecia Sultones. Gemma Galanza. Good, oh, a save. good save by Kath Arado. Sultones again. Eliza from the back, smart play, ball still alive. Chance for cream line. To Pang Spanaga is, and that will be <laughs> a point for the Petrogas Angels. We were just holding our breaths right. in that rally. And let's take a look at that. That is, yes, clearly an error. Yeah, clipping the tape, but again, as I was saying, it's a battle of nerves. Just a one-point lead. Gemma Galanza blocked. They chase it. Oh, good save. Oh! Myla Pablo ties this game at 24 all. What about that save by Chi exactly. Actually, the defense. We were talking about the defense in both teams working wonders for them. And Creamline will go for a timeout. Unfamiliar territory yeah. for, for the Cream Line Cool Smashers. But you have to realize again, of just Petrogas, even if they're a new team, we have, these people are seasoned players. Myla Pablo has already proven her worth as well. So, we, you know, it's not like we're, we're surprised with how yes. they're playing. Agreed. Definitely not surprised. Yeah. More like, you know, just just really okay, part of the Petrogas uh, Angels team with, with how they're playing right now against the cool smashers who, who we said they are the reigning open conference champions yeah but we can see uh, yeah. Gemma Galanza being treated I think her knee her, knee, her right knee yeah. if we saw that correctly we got Kyle Atienza on your screens Gia Morado Rem Palma it's make or break time for both our teams yeah Sultones will serve. Good serve. Yeah. Gia Morado. Panaga. That's just a great set by Morado. You know, it's a great set because obviously Petrogas is expecting either Valdez or right. Galanza and Panaga just delivers. Now it's Petrogas' turn to call for a timeout. They are down by 1.24, 25. Let's go! So you can see specific instruction by Coach Arnold Lanyog. Let's take a look at that last play one more time. Great set by Morado to Pang Spanaga. You can see in that slow-mo, it's quite Obvious that Rem Palma was was trying was looking at Alexa Valdez, so she was already a step late. She wasn't anticipating. Yeah, thanks Panaga. Set to attack. Points 14 for Petrogas, 16 for Creamline. Play continues. Oh, and a little you know, miscommunication on the part of two angels. If I'm not mistaken, that was Kyle Atienza and Gia Morado. Let's yeah. take a look and. Confirm, line. yes. Actually, I'm, I'm dominant. Yeah. <laughs> like he hit Diane. It's right, it was placed perfectly by Palma. And it looks like that was the, the play designed by Coach right. Arnold. It, look, it looks so planned. Rem Palma serving. Good serve. Get to go to Eliza. She is checked. Ball still with cream line. Pablo. Eliza again. Still alive. Back to Myla. The dig. Eliza sees that opening. Nobody there. Block points two for Petrogas, one for Cream Line. Let's take a look at that replay. I was actually surprised. You can see nobody went to block Eliza. She had the entire court to look at, and she knew where to put it. 
Ella de Jesus, their service specialist. Well set point this time for Creamline. 26, 25. Again, this is just set number two. It is. Rhea Meneses. She's a player to watch out for, definitely, for, for the Petrogas Angels. She is playing at a different level right now. The off-season changed a lot of fitness them. Fitness right? program yes. is working for her. They changed a lot of them in a good way. Eliza Valdez will try again. Same spot. Challenge those blockers. Same spot. Petrogas Angels 26, Cream 9 at 27. Will this set ever end? That is that is a question. Well, Gia Morado will have her way, of course, right now. She'll finish it right now. Excellent sets. 18 for both our teams. Good serve. Meneses. Oh, good save. By Kyla Atienza. Chance ball here. Meneses tries. That is a no. And Cream 9 will get this second set. Barely made it out because Petrogas was on them the whole time. But both teams playing excellent, excellent volleyball today. Much to the delight of everybody watching right now. Especially me and Noreen yeah. as well. Take a look at that. Yeah, it's actually an anticlimactic ending to the second set right. with an error. We'll see in the third set. Not yet done. The Premier Volleyball League Open Conference will be right back only here on One Sports. Welcome back to the PVL Open Conference here in, in, in Lawag, Ilocos Norte. The match between Creamline Cool Smashers and Petrogas Angels. And we promise it to be a very close game. And it's one apiece, 26-24 in first set, 28-26 in the second set. Both teams obviously evenly matched here. We can see middle blockers are playing well the outside hitters everyone contributing even the setters are evenly matched it's really a matter of composure there cream nine just didn't want to give up towards the end of that second set kept in there with petrogas even as you feel or you can sense that petrogas had a bit of the momentum but not for cream line they won't have it they just stuck there, played great defense and great attacks also towards the end to claim that second set, 28-26. You can see how close it is again, 18-16. to 16. Blocking went Petrogas's way 2-1. to one. Service aces given at 1. Unforced airs just by 1. So it's a close match. As we said earlier, it would be actually a matter of nerves. And who wants it more? And obviously, Creamline just wanted to equalize this match. To one set a piece so it will be interesting billy what it, what's going to happen here in the third set you know taking from close sets the first set by two the second set by two and in such close fashion who's gonna try to who's gonna come out stronger here in the third set definitely and what a game really for for everybody watching right now again it is a holiday so it thank is you a yeah we can't thank you enough for spending your holiday here with us Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. Early point for the Creamline Crew Smashers, care of their team captain, Eliza Valdez. And I've been seeing, you know, Eliza hasn't been getting her usual numbers right. I mean, from previous games that we've seen. 
but what yeah, what you like is early on I saw in the second set I saw Jeanette Panaga give her a hug and then now we see Michelle Gumabao you know kind of saying let's go so I think it's really more of like her teammates right now encouraging her and supporting her as well and they do you know they, they do seem very very close you can see it all yeah. over their, their social media pages and you talked about it also in, I think set number one yeah. that the Creamland crew smashes they really are like a family and one, one advantage that they have is the familiarity that they have with one another yeah playing together for quite uh, quite, some time. quite some time the only additions I think they have in their team is Tots Carlos and Pangs Panaga and actually Ella Ella De Jesus also yeah. sorry so just three three players as well as we get back to this game, Queen Lion early lead two Good points to, to none yet for the Petragas Angels. She saw it. And the free ball is given here to the Cool Smashers. Gia will go to Alisa. Drop ball is good for the team captain. Yeah, well, some numbers here in set two. The top scorers for Cream Line. Gumaba with eight, Panaga with seven, and for Petragas, it's still Molina with 12 and Palma with but you know those numbers actually we uh, wanted more from Cesc Molina towards the end of that second set but I guess she, even if she's scoring well with 12 points I think she has to be more you know, dominant especially in that to assert, second set yeah to yeah. assert her dominance in this game because Kaya yeah, yeah. yeah she definitely can just watching her play and watching her move on the court well, looks like Cream Line is off to a pretty strong start here in our third set. Yep. Myla Pablo will serve for the Angels. Picking up from that second set. Definitely. But don't look now. <laughs> Always happens to us. Petrogas <laughs> Angels. Slowly waking up. Eliza is blocked by Rhea Meneses. And what we like also about Rhea is... is that personality yeah. that she has. You know, every point she celebrates. No, actually, you know, through the years, so even in her collegiate career, she is a very ex exciting player to watch. And expressive. And expressive, yeah. That's actually that's a better term, is expressive. But you know, she has matured a bit. No, actually, a lot. <laughs> There's still that uh, expressiveness, but it's not as playful. Not, not as in your face. Yeah, right? not yes. as playful as Correct. it was a couple years ago. Maturity. Maturity. <laughs> Age. <laughs> and Michelle Gumaba will try, but she is checked. Risa Sato. Signature Risa Sato move. Yeah, great set there. That's a great play for Cream Line. Yeah, I think I, that uh, it's smart of Gia Morado to actually give more chances to Lisa Sato because she she knows right now that Eliza's number has been checked by by Petroga. So change it up. Ball still alive. Oh, what a <laughs> great block. Lisa Sato loved that one. Getting hugs from her teammates. Let's take a look at it. You know, for, for people who want to play volleyball, that's a great slow-mo because a lot of times when you watch games and then there's misreceive, it goes over uh, like a free ball. A lot of people, a lot of players will just stare. Oh, it's over. Let's watch the, let's just try to do floor defense. But what you can actually do is what Risa did. The blockers can follow the ball right. and hope to block it, which was successful for Risa Sato. Uh, some tips, tips, tips <laughs> from Narindo. Some tips for our aspiring volleyball players yeah. out there. Looking up to their idols, watching the PVL, where all your idols are. Sir Ricky. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Present, as always, of course. And Sir Tony, Tony Liao. Ricky Palu and Tony Liao, the hard-working men behind PVL. Working hand in hand with everybody to, to make sure that we give you amazing games like this one. Yeah, and they are also part of the bubble, so the sacrifice that they actually give also exactly. for, for the school. So, so, you know, it's not just the players, but also the production staff that are, that are there. Production. Yes. And many thanks to Elocos as well for hosting yeah. the Premier Volleyball League. 
as we get back to this game. Soft touch by Michelle Gumabao. Great dig. They go to Gemma Galanza. Again, Ria Meneses wanted to, but not quite. Yeah, but th that was just a smart hit by Gemma Galanza. You can see, she obviously saw who her blockers were. You know, Molina and, and Palma. You don't go straight to the hand, you hit it off the blockers. Gretchen Soton is awfully quiet here in this game. Says Molina. <laughs> Next for he pass, he pounds oh. down. <laughs> All right, that is our first technical timeout for set number three. The PVL will be right back only here on One Sports. We're back here at the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. Billy Capistrano with Noreen Go. Humeline Cruz Master is taking on the Petrogas Angels. This is our third set. Teams with one set apiece. Right now, Creamline taking the lead, 8-3. to three, As Michelle Gomabao will try, but is blocked. They give it up to Gemma Galanza. That is too strong. Point for the Petrogas Angels. Yeah, that's just great defense by Petrogas. No matter where Gio went, just trying to distribute it to the wing hitters. So the double time for the middle blockers, but they held their own and actually frustrated Gemma Galanza. So that last shot went wide. We also got some substitutions for Petrogas. Ivy Perez, first time to see action here in this game. Four serving eight. Obviously to give. She a little a bit of a rest. Yeah. And another point for the Petrogas Angels. Again, you know, they're trying to stay patient, trying to play catch up. Kath Arado on your screens. One of the best liberos in the country right now with 10 excellent receptions. Yeah, playing well, you know, she's uh, always, always efficient. Yeah, Correct. and she fit perfectly with this Petrogas team. You know, like looking at them, I wouldn't have believed that they were newly formed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good save. Good save. Ball still alive. Good defense by the Cool Smashers. Perez will go to Soltones. That's for you, Billy. Yes, we, 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 <laughs> were, waiting. You. we were waiting for Gretchen to come alive. I mean, we all know her as someone very expressive, full of energy. It's just a matter of time. And hopefully this kick starts you know, that spark in her again. It's just a perfect set, perfect uh, design play and by Ivy Perez. she loved that, yes. Yeah. Uh, she loved that. But you like that for Ivy Perez, huh? You, you come in and you create, you make this combination play. Confidence booster also. Yeah. Off the bench, a great play for her. What more could you ask for? Yeah. <laughs> and here, Creamline wanted to take a break. They wanted to do a timeout. They are... Ahead by two points. Kyle Atienza, the libero on the other side, 11 excellent receptions. Yeah, so both of the bears are actually playing well yes. today. Kyla from <laughs> the FEU Tamarounds. <laughs> Observe. Thanks, Panaga. They go to Michelle Gomabao, and that is outside. 
Yeah, trying to go down the line. Obviously missed that line. Lucky break actually for Petrogas. And just a one point lead. Petrogas knocking at the door of Cream Line ever so loudly. Oh, good save. And oh. But not enough firepower to make it reach the other side. Much to the delight of the Petrogas Angels team. And don't look now, we're tied at eight. And oh. we started like this in, in the previous set. Yeah, and, and you know when you look at that play, that last play, you have to wait till the ball drops. Right. Till you give up on the play. Eliza Valdez scrambled for it, actually got, you know, was able to put it up. But the players, her teammates, Sila Galanta, they weren't ready, so they wasted that opportunity. I mean, for wannabe players also. You wait till the ball dies before you give up on it. Noreen tips <laughs> from the expert. And don't look now, Petrogas Angels with that one-point lead. Let's take a look at what happened there. Yeah, miss hit there. She wanted to go down the line. She saw that space between Ivy Paris' hand and the Athena. But it, she just like um, brushed, her hand just br brushed through the ball. Take for a, a look. side spin. Right. And Cess Molina, 15 points, 11 attacks, 2 blocks, and 2 aces. Great performance by Cess Molina. Again, very simple, but so effective. Rem Palma from the FEU Tamarows. Molina will serve. That is outside. We get a little smile from her. Usually poker face, but we get a smile after that error. Gumaba will serve. Nine serving ten. Perez will give it to Soltones. Gia to Pangs, no goal. Great defense by Kyle Atienza on the side of the oh, two near. smashers. Too near the net. Ever so close, we are tied at 10. Looks like it's going to be a long coverage. It is. <laughs> But you know, it's a great game. It's a it great is. game. So it definitely is worth worth the, you know, worth the time. Yeah. Definitely, especially for the viewers. You want these long, close, long rallies, close scores, and you don't know who's gonna win the, that set. Especially because we were on a break for a year, two years and a half. A year and a half or two years. Yeah, almost two. Almost two years. Right. Cool Smashers looking to pull away. The linesman, the linesman called it out, but Palma could have sworn that it, it clipped the line. Point still with the cream line, cool smashers as Gumabo serves Molina. Morado again to Pangs Panaga, finding that angle. Well, Gia Marado has been going a lot to Pangs Panaga, especially in this set, and why not? She delivers for Team Line. It's 13 serving 10. She saw it on your screens, one of the veterans of the Petrogas Angels. Palma. Ho, 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 ho. That's vintage Gia Morado for you. And that's what we want to see from the Creamland Crew Smashers. They look a little more loose yeah. here in this set. Not as stiff as they were in, in the previous sets. That's true. <laughs> what a tip by Gia Morado. It's like... Are we, are we even surprised? <laughs> We're not, but the way, where the ball landed was right. like perfection. Gia again to Gemma Galanza. 
And things going south here for, for the Petrogas Angels. Yeah, green line right now, stepping on the gas. Playing better here in the much, third much set. Much, much better. And they look more alive here in, in the third set. Here comes Michelle Gomaba, 15 serving 10. Sae to Sultones, the connection is there, but it is outside. Oh. It is outside. The point will go to the Cream Line Crew Smashers as we go to our second technical timeout of set number three. You're still watching the PVL Open Conference here on One Sports. Back here in the PVL, and we see Noreen Gemma Galanza, you know, icing her knee. We pointed that out a few uh, minutes ago that yeah. they were treating her right knee. You can actually see her limping a little bit. Well, you know these athletes, you know, they're just so excited to be here, especially after a long hiatus. And there will be pains, there will be injuries, but you know they're gonna play no yeah. matter what. And especially because of the very strict schedule, the tight schedule that we're all following here in the PVL. Yeah, it, the Games every other day, practice every day, I'm assuming. Oh, every day, I think, yeah. It's a compressed tournament. Exactly. Wow, great block there, my mind. A Pablo single block coverage. Gemma Galanza. Ball is still alive. And <laughs> Rem Palma <laughs> with that celebration. And they need that jolt of energy on their side, trailing behind the Cream Line Cool Smashers by three points. Yep, just three points right now. Bit of a rally being mounted by Petrogas. And again, second straight point for Remy Palma. Yeah, that's an over receive by Cream Line. That's what you want to avoid right now is giving three points to Petrogas. And Tots Carlos will make her first appearance here in this game. As you take a look at Getch Sultan, has four points off three attacks and one block. Yep, but she can do more. We know that. Tots Carlos a while ago announcing her entrance. Ball is still alive. She saw it. That is three straight points by Rem Palma. Would you look at that? And the stare down. It's like, you newbie here. Look at this one. Oh, you don't see it, but after that. Maybe here. Let's see. There's yes. a stare down. There. <laughs> there. There. It's there. <laughs> Trying to make eye contact. That's trying to intimidate, really. Tots Carlos, she won't be intimidated knowing Tots Carlos. They go to Michelle Gumabao, too strong. Yeah, don't look now, yes, Billy. Yes, right. We are tied again at 16. Same story, same <laughs> story from that second set. And maybe even that first set. Yeah, it didn't feel right when we saw like that lead. It has to be 16 all, 17, 16. The Angels had other plans. Yeah. Gretchel Sultanes. Good serve. Tots Carlos will try. Too strong for the former UP Lady Maroon. Gives that point to the Petrogas Angels. As Cream Line coach Sherwin Vanessa will call a timeout.
Maybe thoughts a little too excited. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say nerve setting in for thoughts because I'm sure it's it's, it's more excitement for her. They're calling a timeout because Petrogas has taken the lead, 17 to 16, and at this point, you know that the next few minutes are gonna be tough for both our squads. That's true, and Petrogas just patiently called their way back. Here in the third set, it looked like Creamline was actually going to get away. Roll, with, yeah, yeah get away. roll over. But, well, they got the lead, 17 to 16. And this is just our third set. So to everybody watching, hold on tight. But hopefully, Gemma Galanza is okay. Making her do some stretches, probably assessing yeah. no, what she's feeling at this moment with regard to her right knee. Let's take a look at the block points. Four for Petergas, three for Creamline. Angels with that lead. And again, Banks Panaga. Well, she's, uh, she's been given a lot of sets here. And she has been just delivering for cream line. Tots Carlos will serve. Good serve. They go to Myla Pablo. She is blocked. A free ball given here to the Cool Smashers. They go to Eliza. Yeah, that's classic Eliza Valdez for you. Those kills, cross court kills. The cream line fans must be happy with that. A signature, a signature Eliza Valdez move that we want to see more of here in this game. Yes, especially the fans who've been who waited been so waiting long. Waiting for her, yes. 18 serving 17. She saw it to Remy Palma. Back to Eliza. Throws it over to the other side. Back to Palma. Asking for a touch. No go. Point goes to cream line. Well, it happened so quickly, we want to see that again, but... And now the Petrogas Angels will call a timeout. They are down by two points. So what do the Angels need to do this time around, Noreen? Well, this, I think this is a great timeout. I mean, they rallied. They actually equalized this match. And cream line just getting the next two points, but... It's still, the effort will not be in vain. You know, that, that rally. They should just have to calm down. Good timeout. And we'll see. We'll see how they respond to it's this timeout. And it's good to know that Ria Menes is actually resting for, for a little bit. She hasn't been playing yet. Yeah, because uh, Palma. it's Palma in front. That's right. With, those, with the three consecutive points that she made earlier on here in the set. <laughs> Oh, it's, yes, definitely the knee if they are massaging the quads. Yeah, the ITB. Right. Here comes Tots Carlos. Been serving well. Chi to Pablo. Hesitated a little bit. Banks Panaga is blocked. And she's finally blocked on that side. Great anticipation there by Myla Pablo. Well, obviously, Petrogas already knows that Panagas is the first option right now in terms of offense. You see Pablo there, just standing her ground and anticipating that hit. 18 serving 19. This is our third set of the game. Gia Morado will go to Pants. <laughs> <laughs> Palma was there. She is a personality. She is a character. She is a character. Another one. one. Yeah, one hand save. Oh. And, and Rhea Meneses is back. Top in front. Okay, we're going to give that point to Rem Palma. <laughs> okay? Two great saves for her. So that point goes to Rem Palma. Sorry, Rhea. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Rhea, that's not your point. And take a look at that score to all our volleyball fans. 19 all. Another deadlock here in this game. They go to Pangs for a quick oh. one. 
Great save. And who was that? Rem Palma again. Palma. Her again. And she loved it. She's she enjoying loves herself. It. And that's what you want to see from our players. Eliza Valdez. Eliza. She will not have it. She will not have it, Eliza. Enough. Enough for now. <laughs> Well, you know, we have to commend them, Palma, really. Playing great defense. And enjoying the game as well. And in the process. Her, and becoming her old self, you know? The, the one she the stare downs yes. and the trash talking and the, the, that smile. We, that we don't grin. know about the trash talking. No, the grin. Hear. Yeah, we can't hear, but the grin. And also their other middle blocker. A while ago it was Ram Palma. Ria said it's her time now. Yeah. I get in the fold. Look That's at that. Great. That's a great set. A quick B set. Be quick. Again, another deadlock, 20 all. Morada we go, will go to Valdez. She has checked. They go to Risa. Great save. Great save by Kath Arado. Yeah. Chisa, it was there. Arado again. Ball is still alive. Chance here for Creamline. They go to Tots from the back. Oh, he uh, punches it over. Eliza. Kath Arado is everywhere. Pablo is blocked. Tinaasi Soltones. <laughs> and wow. Cesc Molina, just like that, ends that rally. That was a long rally, Biddy, and Cesc Medina just using her volleyball smarts there. It was near the net, so what do you do? You swipe it off the blocker. Cesc Medina with a swipe is good. Puts the Petrogas Angels in the lead, 21 to 20. She sat it with 21 excellent sets, and she will serve for the Angels. Oh. Painful. An unfortunate, very unfortunate service error for our team captain, Chi Saeb. That's gonna hurt. But at least for, at least for Petrogas and the fans, it's still at 21 apiece. On the other side, Gia Morado with 25 excellent sets. The big... Eliza. Another long rally here. They go to Tots from oh! the back. Off the hands of Chi Saet. And correct me if I'm wrong, first point. First point here. I, I would think so. Welcome to Creamline, Tots Carlos. Welcome to the Cool Smashers team, Tots Carlos. And too much for Chi Saet. Much to the delight of, of her teammates. Shado yung baby, the yeah. baby ng Creamline Cool Smashers. One of the younger ones. Ow! Oh, service error here. And as you can see, we have Gemma Galanza so stretching out, preparing to return to, to the game as May and Mendres, their service specialists, will serve for the Angels. Good serve. They go to Eliza. Just a smart hit there. Off speed changes really the power in midair. We've been talking about defense the whole time. Kathleen Arado, or Kath Arado rather, 19 excellent digs for her. Yeah, both the Bears playing excellent today. Kyle Atienza on the side of the Cream Line Two Smashers. Miscommunication. On the part of the Petrogas Angel, that's very, very costly. We'll put Cream Line set point. Again, for those who just tuned in, both teams with one set apiece. So this is a crucial set. Yeah, cr crucial miscue there. Do they have the chance? They do have the chance to see what they're going to do with it. They go to Cess Molina. She's blocked. Back to Sultones. She is blocked. Oh, good one-handed save. Good one-handed save. They go to Tots. Pure power by Tots Carlos. And she will win this set for her and her team. 
Uh, you, you, you gotta love it for Thoughts Carlos. That should, we always say, it, be a confidence boost for, for this young one, this new addition to the Cream Line squad. There you go, the Cream Line Crew Smashers take set number three. The very first Pro Volleyball League in the country will be right back. This is a PVL Open Conference only here on One Sports. We are back and you're still watching the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference right here on One Sports. And what a set number three we had, Narino. It's been, been the story the past few sets. It was a very, very close one. But in the end, Tots Carlos came up big for the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Yeah, I mean, we said it. It's going to be a great match. Although early on, Cream Line had the lead, but Petrogas would just not go away. They rallied, equalized, even took the lead. So it was a yip and tuck affair, a tug of war affair. In the end, I would say that unforced errors, timely unforced errors on the part of Petrogas also hurt their cause. But we also have to mention that Cream Line worked hard. They fought for it. You know, Todd Scarlett came up big. And what a time for her to score because Gemma Galanza obviously nursing some injuries. Exactly. And we have the set, set three statistics on your screens. Yeah, as you can see, attacks this time. Cool Smashers playing better in that uh, category. 14 to 9. Blocking still Petrogas 5 to 3. Service aces and unforced errors the same. But it's actually the same. You know, it boiled down to the, boiled down to the latter part of that set. We, we couldn't even guess really was going to win, but the latter part of that set, Cream Line just stepped on the gas at the right time and won the third set. And again, we mentioned Tots Carlos, the, <laughs> the newbie for the Cream Line Cool Smashers. And I did hear a couple of her teammates saying that she was on another level right now, Tots Carlos. I'm sure she's excited. You know, you're, you said that she's a new addition to this team. She's excited, and what you like about her is even that short stint in the third set, she committed an error. But obviously, she is mentally focused. I'm sure, sure with the guidance of people like Eliza right. and Michelle. And she came back. Crucial, crucial kills there for Tots Exactly, because it's so easy to, uh, you know, not be able to bounce back yeah. or get sidetracked after an error, especially if it's, you're debuting yeah. and at in this a level, league like this. Yes, at this level exactly. Of so the future looks bright for Tots. And she takes a breather again as we are joined once more by Gemma Galanza. Oh, Mendres is now starting for Petrogas. Meneses really if there's a best blocker award it depends I don't know what the award are going to be but it's just one She's, she has her sights strong contender yes yeah, she has her sights on that man Mendes will serve check there Congratulations, Sotones. The bursts of energy from her we really appreciate. Let's take a look at that from Kath Arado. And she hammers it down. Yeah, so great start here by Petrogas for the fans. You want to see that? Well, some numbers here for Creamline, the top scorers. Eliza Valdez slowly but surely 
with 13 points, 11 for Panaga. Molina and Palma on the other hand, 16 for Molina and 13 for Ren Palma. These are the top scorers so far. And you can see on your screens, team captain of the Creamline Cool Smashers, Eliza Valdez, with her many awards <laughs> here in the PVL. That's going to be an error called on the Creamline Cool Smashers. Petrogas with an early lead here in our fourth set. So, to all our viewers, what do you think? Is this going to extend to a fifth set? <laughs> if you're a Angels fan, you surely want to see that. Oh, yeah. And it's such a great game for yes. me. I mean, how it should it should go to a fifth set. It deserves a fifth, fifth set. Yeah. She side puts it up. Ria Meneses will go to Molina. Yeah, it's too near the net. Nothing she can do about that. Talk about Cess Molina. Yeah, obviously also if it's too near the net. No, even if the players try to go for it, sometimes you're also, you have that fear of crossing or stepping on your opponent's feet and you know that's why it's sometimes you see why they, why are they hesitant right to move? it's it's more of that fear of, of creating or causing injury to either you or your opponent so you also have to be aware of yeah. these things says Molina serving Gia to Gemma good save by Gemma <laughs> Rem Palma again with the reactions. Rem Palma. She's home. <laughs> She's home they, with they, Petra They Gans. all do look very comfortable yeah. in red. In red. In red. Six serving two. Gio will go to Pants. Oh, it has been... Well, at least the past two rallies, there has been a, a battle of the middle. And Max looks at home as well yeah. with her new team, the Creamline Cool Smashers. For those who weren't aware, she was a former Petrogas Angel. She to Palma. Another one. She's feeling it right now. Talk about Rem Palma. She's feeling it. And enjoying herself, obviously. Now well, comfortable lead here, seven to three. Good serve. Gemma will send it to the other side. Saed back set to Palma again with a consecutive points. <laughs> As we. Turn it over to Ai Tetsai. She was with Gia Morado, so let's listen in on that interview. I think uh, for this team, um, most of our experiences in the bubble helped make us stronger talaga. As in, before we were so used to just training and then going back home to our own houses. But this time, buong bubble magkasama kami 24-7. We had a lot of struggles, a lot of hurdles, and a lot of experiences that made us stronger for this tournament. And hopefully it takes us all the way. Well, of course, we're very well aware that all of the teams have new combinations of players. There were a lot of new recruits, so it's very important for us to change things up also and add new weapons and new uh, teammates into our roster. And sobrang laking bagay na ang taas ng energy talaga ng nadadala nila sa loob ng team namin and yung competitiveness nila helps us be better also in our trainings. There you have it, Gia Morado, their price setter. Talking about the cream line cool smashers. Well, that, while we were watching that interview, I think Todd Carlos uh, joined the. Uh, I wasn't even sure if that was a replay. He also, <laughs> or if it he was also real time, did, but we were watching the third set. 
So we were like pausing. Yeah, but yeah. But here yeah. she is, I Tots Carlos, you, rejoining her teammates in the fourth set after ending that third set. A few errors here and there. She will bounce back knowing her. Yeah, I think really that probably that knee injury of uh, Gemma Galanza has been bothering her for, for Coach Meneses to take her out. Right. So we just hope that she will She's be okay. okay. Yeah. Hopefully we get updates, you know, regarding her injury as the plate continues. Mean Mendez first point here. Well, Petrogas looking like a well well oiled machine here in the fourth set. Looking at the fifth set. Very, very possible at this point. They are up by six points here in our fourth set. Gia to Eliza. Gretchen was there. Man Mendres. Two straight points for her. And, and the Cream Line Crew Smashers will be calling a timeout. Try to figure out why things aren't going their way here in this fourth set. Yeah, what's happening right now? And if, if you scout your opponents, well, you know Man Mendres' strength is really down the line. And she is surely helping her team. That was two points from her here in the fourth set. And you can see Gemma Galanza in the sidelines, not looking too happy with, with what's going on. I'm sure, especially with her team down, by it by quite the margin seven points it's she balloon, wants to actually, play yes. Rem Palma <laughs> serving for the Petrogas Angels again the lead is ballooning here in the fourth set well, the Petrogas is playing really well here in the fourth set very composed as well yeah. Banks will try oh still alive good save there they go to Pangs again, and this time, it is a go for her. Yeah, textbook volleyball there. Good pass by Tos Carlos. Great set, and Panaga just nails that for Queen Line. Pangs Panaga right now on your screens with 12 points. Smart play by Chi. Eliza was there. They go back to Mayan Mendres. She is blocked. They go to Ria Meneses, who is blocked as well. Point goes to the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Yeah, great defense there for Cream Line. Hoping right now that they can you know, pull out some sort of rally here to make it a closer match. Cream Line relentless at the net. There we have it. Jeanette Panaga, Pangs Panaga, 12 points off eight attacks and four blocks. Arado puts it up, gives it to Mendres. Risa Sato, great save. Yeah, good dig. Arado. Morado to Eliza, classic. Gretzio was there. Back to Mendres, hits the antenna. Point goes to the Cool Smashers. I, I think Gia Morado had that uh, she knew it she didn't even jump <laughs> she knew it was too far already Petrogas Angels call for a time out again it's a pretty big lead for the cream line to smashers 11 to 7 Angels hanging on to that momentum that they have been sustaining all throughout this fourth set. Yeah, but the timeout, because from seven points, it's down to four. They're catching up. Yeah. The, the Cool Smashers are catching up. You can see Gretsch Soltones. Myla Pablo. Breathing for a bit. Joining her other teammates. Yep. As Pangs will serve again. Let's take a look at the attack points. Eight for Petrogas, just three for Greenline. Another error there for Petrogas. 
This is the second error for Me and Mendres. We see Celine Domingo also from the FEU Tamarounds. <laughs> Nahiya pa siya doon. Sanay yeah. naman siya. <laughs> and Ivy Perez. Tot Scarla serving. Her team is down by three points. Perez to Meneses. That is a point. By a net touch violation called on Risa Sato. Yeah, that violation there. And that's what you don't want because you're catching up here, talking about dream line, and then you commit an error. So now it's back to a four point lead. Good serve. Go to Risa. Effective as always. Cuts down the lead to three again. Well, really, if you can sense here, at least for for cream line, Eliza Valdez is not the first option. I mean, we're used to her being the first option, but so far, at least in four sets already, she is not the first option. One of them, but not the first. <laughs> See, I mean, We've been seeing a lot of Pangs Panaga, yes. Risa Sato. And I'm sure the Cream Line Cool Smashes fans are waiting for, for Eliza. Eliza to get her opportunity, get her sets. Gia Morado, their main playmaker with 29 excellent sets. And also, you know who's been quiet this set? Michelle Gumabao. That's has true. been quite silent for the Cool Smashers. Well, we should talk about this more, Billy. I talked about Eliza, <laughs> you talked about Michelle, and I think Gia can hear us. <laughs> I'm sure there's a live feed somewhere there. But Michelle Gumabao making her presence felt here in the fourth set. And if you take a look at that score, Petro Gastos up by one point. Morado serves. Perez will give it to Ria Meneses. Yeah, double contact there by Atienza. Still a two point lead right now from Petrogas. Total block points 14 for Petrogas and 9 for the Cool Smashers. Wow, 14, that's a lot. That's a lot. Blockers of the Petrogas Angels proving to be very efficient here in this game. But let's take a look at that attack by Risa Sato from Gia Morado. Well, you know why why the the first line of offense for Cream Line are the middle blockers and they, they're going to a lot of running attacks. It's because of the respect they have for the blocking of Petrogas. So obviously Coach Sherwin are making the adjustments. We're going, we have to elude the blockers, make it quick by going to the, those running hits. Actually, that's why they're, the middle hitters are, are now the first option. Michelle Gumabao. Ball is still with cream line. Back to Michelle. That is too strong, and it sails outside. Puts the Petrogas Angels up by three points. Yeah, I mean, Michelle Gumabo hit it wide, but what, what a time for that to happen. Cream line just can't seem to equalize. Morado will go to Tots Carlos, full of power. Gretchen Soltones. Good block. Blocking of Dream Knight on point two in that sequence. I think that was Michelle Gumabao. With that reaction, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was. Perez will go oh! to Molina. And Tots Carlos, the baby of the group. That's a tough block. Pro proving to everybody why she deserves to be here. That's why she's a pro. Yeah. And 
that's slow mo for me, Billy. That's really a good example yes. of what of how you can stuff stuff block is how you angle your your arms once in contact with the ball. Right. Perez to Molina answers back. And it is going to be our second technical timeout of set number four. But before anything else, let's turn it over to Ai Tensai for her report. Go ahead, Ai. Michelle Gumabao, formidable middle blocker of the Cream Line Cool Smashers, player of the game last Saturday, who scored a roaring 24 points, shared how everyone in the league is just eager to play after almost two years. She said that the longer it took for them to play volleyball, all the more they got hungry to set their feet back in the court. Despite Coach Tai's physical absence in their bubble training, the Cool Smashers felt his strong mentorship through Zoom and still experienced quality training as seen in the first match against the Santa Lucia Lady Realtors with more sacrifices given the more passion comes out from their play with focus on their individual strengths Michelle said they are taking it fiercely one game at a time let's get back to the PBL action with both the reinforced confidence victors the Petrogas Angels and the open conference champions the Creamline Cool Smashers that was Ayi's report. Thank you so much, Ayi. And as she said, the uh, Cream Line Crew Smashers, we're going to take it one game at a time. Dito naman sa laro natin, one set at a time. Right now, they are down by two points against the Petrogas Angels. Make that one point. Thanks to Tots Carlos. Playing was, well. Yeah, playing very well here in the fourth set. She made her first appearance in this game in that third set. Ended it with with some really great attack points. And uh, now here she is. Tapos na yung warm-up ni yeah. Tots. Tapos na. And for those who really know Tots and follow her career, they know how, how expl explosive she can be. She can be a volume scorer. Yeah. Definitely. Boy, single block coverage there for Pangs Panaga. And don't look now. We are tied. Finally for Cream Line. Chance here for Cream Line. They will give it to Sotones. And that is off the block. And she answers back. Takes a good look at Paris Padaga. But there is a violation. No, actually, the block, based on the play, the block went wide. You know? But somebody called, I saw the first referee call it for Cream Line. So after the block, it Somebody's claiming that it hit Petrogas. That's that's why there was an early celebration. Yeah, but well, the call stays actually. The call stays. So at, it hit at, Petrogas. At any rate, play continues. <laughs> we are at 16 and 17. Tots Cardos again. Nobody home for the Petrogas Angels. Well, you should be happy for this kid. Tots she, Cardos. She is, she is pumped up. She's playing well. And good for her, definitely. We'll take a look at that. Petrogas Angels will call a timeout. Score right now is 18 to 16. We are live at the PCB Social Civic and Cultural Center in Bacara, Ilocos Norte. It is a holiday today, so thank you for joining Happy us. Happy holiday. Happy <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining us, whether you're watching this with your friends or your loved ones safely. We hope that you are having a great time because this game really this game is something else because we are <laughs> we're having <laughs> we a great time are. and this rivalry bloomed in the 2019 season as we see Gemma Galanza on your screens she will still be resting it out due to that knee which hopefully we get updates about but for the meantime here comes Rem Palma and the Petrogas Angels again trying to equalize things. Yeah, they know they know how important this part, this juncture of the fourth set is because for Petrogas you need to win this fourth set. It's that mid mid set. Yeah. So Tones with the serve. They would go back to Pangs. Again, those errors for the Petrogas Angels. May and Mendres. 
seeing uh, errors from her end as well. But the set actually was too far. I mean, man, nothing too pretty much man Medres could do about right. that. 19 serving 17. This is our fourth set for those who just tuned in. Oh, makes up for it, man, Mendres. <laughs> Not good enough. <laughs> After that, here you go. Yeah. You're saying I like going down the line. I can go cross court. Great cross court attack from the former UE player. Boy, she has become a very strong hitter. Definitely. Rem Palma serving. Good serve. They go to Eliza. That's a great set. That's a great set, really. Crunch time, crucial moments. Even if your game plan is to go to your centers, you also want to go to your captain. And Ella de Jesus comes in to serve. You can see Risa Sato. On your screens, Gretchen Sultones. Perez will give it to Mendres. Another point for her. Two straight points for Me and Mendres. Boy, these youngsters are playing. Well. I was gonna say, I was gonna say. <laughs> Carlos on the other hand. Mendres also for the Petrogas Angels. Also the excitement siguro de ba? Being here with all your idols growing up. Yeah. Hindi naman growing up. Growing up. Hindi <laughs> naman growing up. Why 20 year difference, <laughs> Basila? <laughs> but the Queen Line Two Smashers sensing that the Petrogas Angels were getting a little bit too close. Well, again, you like the attitude of, like, of, of Risa Sato. Always ready, you know? She, she doesn't get majority she of She doesn't get sets. frazzled as well. That's true. That's true. They're always, they're always focused. 21 serving 19. Classic Gia preparation before her serve. You see that all the time. Oh, Mendres, free, free ball here. They go to Gomabao, Catarado. Again, Gomabao, but she is denied one more time. They go to Tots from the back. Whoa! Hits the very tip of that corner. And Tots, Carlos. And take a look at that, the very tip of that corner. Making her presence felt here in the first pro volleyball league in the Philippines. And we, you know, if for those again who follow her, her they know that what she can do. And it's nice that at this level, she can, she can still do yeah. it. But Cess Molina answers back. She has, she, has, she has plans of her own. Exactly, has other things in mind. <laughs> here she is. She doesn't want to go home yet. Let's take a look at the attack points here in set number four. 16 for Petrogas, 12 for Creamline. 22-20 is our score. Creamline Coup smashers with a lead. And that sails outside too strong for the Lady Beast. That's a crucial, Soltones. Yeah, crucial error, Billy, because and they're fighting for their lives. It's Cel Domingo. Celine Domingo makes an appearance here in this game. Interesting substitution. 23-20. Perez will go to Soltones. They go to Michelle Gomabao. Back to Tots. Carlos, she is checked. Good cover. Again to Tots. They go back to Gretchen Soltones. Eliza was there. Good defense by Creamline. Back, back to Tots, and she does it again off the block. Boy, she is just responding to the challenge of Gia Murado. Just, you know, total confidence and trust in this youngster, and she is delivering. You know, things are looking good for her and Creamline. And now we are at match point, and you know, in the ring, when you're given that opportunity, you grab it. You and grab obviously, it. Tots yeah. Carlos more than ready. 
Perez will go to Suntones, but oh. that unfortunately, what a way, you know, what a what an unfortunate way to end this game for them. That was an error. Yeah, I always say, if a great game, that now I'm generalizing, generalizing if a great game, if a great set or a great rally ends with a, an error, it's really anticlimactic. It but really is. But and still. I'm sure everyone felt that as well, but a win is a win for the Creamline Cool Smashers. Great job to them. Final score is 25-20 in favor of the Cool Smashers. We will be back to talk about this game even more. This is a PVL Open Conference only on One Sports. We are back and you're still watching the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference, the very first Pro Volleyball League here in the country. And for all those who watched, what a game that was, Noreen. The Creamland Cool Smashers win this one, three sets to one. Yeah, it really doesn't matter who won. I mean, sure it matters, but what I'm saying is the quality of game. It was just so at a high level. It was at a high level. Attacks, floor defense, blocking, it was a great game. It's really entertaining. And informative to the to the viewers, to the fans, even to us. But someone's got to win. Creamline just maintained in just the right ex uh, composure, especially towards the end game of the third and the fourth set. And our gotta... best player of the game, none other than their prize setter, Gia Morado, the main playmaker. What do you have to say about her performance, Nareen? Well, Gia Morado just played classic Gia Morado, fo following obviously the game plan of coach going to the middle even though you know the how, how much she wants to mix it up but that's how good she is she she can follow but she can also you know have this element of surprise and carry her team it was a close match and even during crunch time crucial moments where petrogas was just knocking at their doors Gio Morado just playing well for cream line and cream line wins it at four so what can we expect you think from the cream line cool smashers moving forward after their performance today it was a very close game and we also can't discount the effort by, by the Petrogas Angels. Yeah, I mean, Creamline obviously two wins, you know, in their in their first two matches and we, all, we can really just expect them to get better and better with time. You'd see the bright spots in Tots Carlos and, you know, it's just the ways we didn't even see Celine Domingo really play, a, play her game but we also got to give it to Petrogas who played a great game and they can only get better as well. And of course, the volleyball will not stop here because up next we have the Black Mamba Army Lady Troopers going up versus the Valley Pure Water Defenders. It's going to be a pretty interesting game, so everybody please stay tuned. We're not done yet. That is it for me and Noreen, though. So for us today, on behalf of the One Sports family, my partner Noreen Go, Aitan Sai, our director, Direct Raul de Ocampo, and everybody behind this production. My name is Billy Capistrano, thanking all of you for watching this coverage of the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. Stay tuned. Up ahead, we got some good games coming up.